One of the last things we expect when we jump aboard a large ship is for it to crash. It's probably one of the worst things to experience, yet it happens all the time. And when it does, it's often caught on camera. From two cruise boats colliding to a sinking super yacht, here are 15 extremely dangerous big ships crashing on camera. Number 15. Ship Hits Mansion. A ship hitting anything is always a stomach-churning moment. As the captain of a ship, you hope to never find yourself in such a position. Although, even if you have hit something, you'll be pleased if you weren't in the shoes of a captain in charge of the bulk carrier called Vita Spirit that crashed into a historic mansion. In 2018, a Maltese flagged ship's steering gear failed, which caused it to crash directly into a waterfront mansion on the shores of Bosphorus Strait in Istanbul. Because of the incident, ship traffic had been suspended in both directions. Video of the incident had been captured by other boats in the area. Fortunately, no one was injured in the crash, but both videos and photos showed the massive damage to the mansion that has been on the straight shores since the 18th century. The structure, called Hekimbashi Salia Fendi Mansion was used to host concerts and weddings. Oh! Well, it doesn't look like it'll be able to do that again anytime soon. The three-story structure was damaged from the top down, with extensive structural damage to at least half of it. Before we go on, like this video, smash the subscribe button, and click the notification bell right now, or this centipede will crawl on your face when you're sleeping. Number 14. Carnival Glory Strikes Carnival Legend Crew on the Carnival Glory were left red-faced when they somehow managed to hit another cruise ship while maneuvering to dock at a port in Cozumel, Mexico. Carnival Legend was already docked when it was hit. So rather than it being a collision, it was classed as an elision. An elision is a nautical term that describes a moving ship colliding with a stationary object. In this case, it was a stationary ship. But terminology aside, that doesn't mean that the collision, or elision, didn't cause a bit of chaos. Carnival Glory's deck was crushed and one person was injured. Six guests were also sent to the Carnival Glory's medical center for evaluation. According to Carnival, neither vessel's crew's itinerary was affected by the crash, and guests were told to enjoy their time on the shore. Looking at the footage, though, it does seem like there was quite a bit of damage, although passengers described the impact as feeling like a big wave. Carnival legend passengers said they felt a jolt, but didn't think anything of it. The cause of the crash was determined to be high winds, resulting in currents. Number 13. Stellar Banner Ore Carrier Stellar Banner was a massive iron ore carrier owned by Polaris Shipping Company. It was also a new iron ore carrier at just four years old. However, last year, the fully loaded ship was on a trip from Brazil to China when it ended up taking on water and coming to rest on a sandbank. A week later, attempts were made to refloat it, which meant 145,000 tons of iron ore were removed from the vessel to make that happen. But when that happened, authorities found that the vessel's damage was so severe that it couldn't be refloated. At that point, they decided to scuttle it. The entire dramatic operation was caught on camera. Scuttling involves deliberately sinking a ship by allowing water to flow into its hull. Sometimes this happens by opening sea cocks and hatches out to the ocean, but it can also involve ripping holes in the hull with explosives or force. While around 145,000 tons of iron ore was removed from the ship, the same amount had to be left on board. As the scuttling got underway, massive plumes of iron ore finds shot into the air before it finally sunk. Number 12. Yogi the Super Yacht Yogi, not the bear, but the yacht, was the largest ever yacht at 60 meters long to be built by Prodixan Turquoise, a Turkish shipyard. But it was also the largest yacht ever to sink. The entire drama unfolded on video, and pictures have been uploaded all over the internet. 
Yogi was built for French media and TV millionaire Stéphane Corbett to form part of a hotel collection as a charter yacht. As a result, it had all the bells and whistles you'd expect from a luxury yacht, like a media room, swimming pool, beach club, and wellness center. In 2012, the worst happened. Yogi was receiving warrantied maintenance work when the Aegean Sea claimed her. It's only natural to assume that the wild weather of the time was to blame, but engine failure actually contributed, along with a number of circumstantial events. In the end, Yogi sank to the bottom of the Mediterranean. It took an hour for the skeleton crew of eight to be evacuated by helicopter while seven-meter waves crashed around the yacht. The entire event was very dramatic, but fortunately, no one was injured. Number 11. Cruise ship hits tourist boat. I love social media. When anything dramatic happens, someone always seems to be ready with a camera to provide footage for the curious masses. You can then see it published, shared, and reshared across multiple platforms. That's exactly what happened in 2019 when a cruise ship, MSC Opera, hit the San Basilio Terminal and then a smaller tourist boat called River Countess. The incident occurred on the Guidecha Canal, which is one of the busiest in the Italian city. Footage uploaded to Twitter showed a massive cruise ship traveling in a straight line towards the dock before nudging the smaller boat and causing onlookers to run for their lives. According to MSC Cruises, the cruise ship operator, the ship experienced technical issues while attempting to moor at the terminal. Four people suffered minor injuries in the chaos. Investigations were underway to find out what exactly happened, but it was essentially business as usual after that event. The ship was able to moor at the Maritima Terminal, and passengers were able to board and disembark. If anything good came out of this carnage, it would be that they are now coming up with a solution to manage the large ship traffic in Venice. Number 10. Container Ship vs. Ferry as much as we might like to think we're perfect, we're not. And that's why there's such a thing as human error. The problem is, human error can lead to some horrific events, such as the collision between the Tunisian row row ship called Ulysses and the Cyprus-flagged container ship CSL Virginia. Around 28 kilometers northwest of Cape Corsica in 2018, the two vessels collided. After extensive investigation into the incident, we finally got to find out what caused the collision. The Tunisian Row Rose watch officer was on the phone, and his counterpart wasn't paying attention to radar alarms. These two things contributed to the collision that caused hundreds of tons of bunker fuel to enter the Mediterranean Sea after the ship's fuel tanks ruptured. Some of this fuel ended up on the French coastline, but they weren't the only ones to blame. The Cypriot container ship, for some reason, dropped its anchor smack bang in the middle of a busy sea lane. According to the Director General of Sea Transport, Youssef Ben Romdain, it was the first time a ship had dropped anchor in this location. The total damage of both ships came at the cost of around $15.5 million, along with an additional $11.4 million for coastal cleaning. One word comes to mind. Oops. Number 9. Russian Cargo Ship Collision We've all heard of hit and runs with vehicles. Often, a vehicle driver does something they shouldn't have, like hit another car or property, and then they take off from the scene to avoid getting in trouble. As it turns out, this type of behavior isn't reserved for car drivers alone. Even those behind the wheel of a massive ship are capable of the same actions. In 2019, a Russian cargo ship sailed off course and ended up crashing into a bridge in Busan, South Korea. If that wasn't bad enough, the captain took off from the scene in his vessel. He was later detained by the Coast Guard and was found to be under the influence of alcohol. The legal limit was 0.03%, and he blew a reading of 0.086. Oopsie. Imagine being drunk behind the wheel of a 5,998-ton vessel. That would be no easy feat. Fortunately, even though he caused a massive hole in the lower area of the bi-level Guangin Bridge, no injuries were reported, although the bridge did have to be closed as a precaution and probably for repairs. Number 8. Container Ship Hits Crane just because you name a ship something with luck in it doesn't mean you're gonna get all the good luck. You might just get a dose of bad instead. A feeder box ship called Soul of Luck slammed into a pier and brought down a massive gantry crane in Semarang Port, Indonesia. 
Soul of Luck is owned by Victoria Ocean Way of Greece and is a 1,597 TEU vessel built in 1997. While it wasn't immediately clear what led to the vessel's bad stroke of luck, authorities were taking a long, hard look at the tugboat KT Gianadera 304. So what actually happened? Well, Soul of Luck was cruising into the Semarang port from Port Klang in Malaysia when it alighted with the pier and hit the crane. The crane tipped over and hit another vessel at the terminal. A truck driver was taken to the hospital, but no fatalities or other injuries were recorded. Surprisingly, a large number of Quay cranes have been tumbling over in ports around the world. As a result, insurers were urging port operators to avoid costly accidents by installing laser sensor technology. Number 7. Both Carrier and Cargo Ship Collide In 2013, a little over 3 kilometers south of Sisters Island in Singapore waters, a Vietnamese registered cargo vessel collided with another ship. As a result of the collision, the bulk carrier damaged one of its hatches but was able to continue its journey with the damage it sustained. In the incident, no one was injured and there were no oil spills. Traffic in the Singapore Strait was also able to travel as normal. So as far as dangerous big ships go, this was probably one of the better accidents to have. In saying that, it was probably quite frustrating for both captains since the accident was entirely avoidable. The bulk carrier was overrunning the smaller cargo ship at an incredibly close distance. In fact, some may say that they were a little too close. Though the close distance was probably due to it not being able to move any further over to the left to impact the flow of traffic in the opposite direction. The collision occurred when the smaller vessel decided to start turning left. It's probably not a wise idea to start turning a ship into the path of a much larger ship. Number 6. Cargo Ship Breaks Up When the MV Rena, a Monrovia-flagged container ship, struck the Astrolabe Reef in the North Island of New Zealand in 2011, it became responsible for the country's worst maritime pollution disaster. A massive oil spill occurred off the coast of Tuaranga, resulting in 350 tons of oil spilling into the sea onto pristine beaches and killing around 1,300 birds. That was a bad enough situation, but it was made a whole lot worse a few months later. A storm caused it to break in two, which raised fear of yet another environmental crisis involving this ship. As a result of it splitting in half, salvers have been brought in to remove over 1,000 containers, and ships were also warned away due to the likelihood that containers were washed from the wreckage. After 7 meter high waves, the two pieces of the Reno were positioned around 30 meters apart from each other. If this doesn't spell oil disaster, then I don't know what does. Maritime New Zealand engaged in the services of the National Response Team, which included wildlife experts and an oil spill response to prepare for more oil coming to shore. Number 5. Container Ship Crashes Into a Crane in April 2020, a massive 15,000 TEU container ship called Milano Bridge owned by K-Line alighted with a gantry crane located at the port of Busan. As if the initial elision wasn't bad enough, the crane went on to collapse and dropped its massive boom on the stern of Milano Bridge. Four other cranes ended up being pushed off their tracks and were taken out of commission. The crane driver managed to escape the unfolding chaos, but he injured his ankle in the process. He was taken to the hospital for treatment. Because we are in such a digital age, you can almost guarantee there will always be footage of terrible things like this playing out. Video footage was uploaded to the internet showing two different angles of the incident. The first showed the vessel making contact with the crane, causing it to topple over. The second shows the crane toppling over, but no noticeable impact. The incident was investigated right away, but the cause wasn't immediately known. What is clear, though, is that someone's gonna be in a lot of trouble when authorities get to the bottom of what happened. Number 4. Cruise Ship Suffers Engine Trouble while not exactly a crash, a cruise ship carrying 1,300 passengers found itself in a lot of trouble, and many questions were asked. A cruise ship called Viking Sky set off in high-risk conditions, even though there had been storm warnings. When it suffered engine trouble off the Norwegian coast, it was seen listing at an almost 45-degree angle. You don't have to be a ship expert to know that's not quite right. 
As a result, over 400 people had to be airlifted to safety, and the ship had to be brought back into the port with only three of its four engines operational. Because of the weather conditions and subsequent risk to passengers, crew, and the ship, Norway's Accident Investigations Board decided to investigate. Fortunately, the entire situation could have been a lot worse, but for those who had to be evacuated, it was bad enough. Each passenger had to be hoisted from the deck one by one, all the while winds were blowing at speeds of up to 70 kilometers per hour. I wouldn't be in a hurry to get back on a cruise ship after that experience. Number 3. Roro Ship Tilts in Cebu Island it's amazing how much a ship's load can impact its weight balance. That might be why, when you're traveling in a vehicle to get onto a ferry, it's such a long wait. The ferry staff have to literally put together a puzzle to ensure it's well balanced in the water. Or so I gather, anyway. Especially if this situation is anything to go by. In Cebu City, at the port of Consuelo in Camotes Island, a vessel tilted onto its starboard side while unloading passengers and cargo. As it turns out, a simple 10-wheeler truck was responsible. It was maneuvering itself to disembark when it suffered a transmission problem. That one problem caused the entire vessel to tilt onto its side. Coast Guard Camotes were quick to respond and were able to rescue all 149 passengers. Four were taken to the hospital with minor injuries. At the time of the incident, 11 rolling cargoes were present in the vessel, but only four were in it when it tilted. Jamalia shipping would be required to compensate the owners of those four vehicles that ended up falling into the water, and passengers were given ticket refunds. Number 2. Car Carrier Salvaged it's amazing to think that even the largest ships are at risk in the water if severe weather decides to take hold. In 2016, a 164 meter long vessel called Modern Express lost stability in heavy weather. It was a roll on roll off ship, which meant it could sink into the water to allow boats to roll onto it for transport, then roll off again at the other end. As a result of losing stability, it started drifting at a rapid pace towards the French coast. Miraculously, salvage experts from SMIT Salvage got to the ship within 24 hours to prevent an environmental disaster. The Spanish Coast Guard had already evacuated the 22 crew members. Wind, waves, and strong currents made the vessel list heavily, and there was a genuine risk that she would run aground. The French Navy monitored the situation while the salvage team from SMIT came up with a plan. They attempted to add a tow line to the vessel and tow it to the port in a controlled way, but the weather conditions made this impossible. They ended up having to wait until it was just 24 nautical miles from the French coast before they could successfully attach a line and tow the vessel to the port of Bilbao. Number 1. Chinese Ship Crashes Into Pedestrian Bridge a crane operator in Ecuador was able to capture some incredible footage of a large Chinese ship hitting a pedestrian bridge at the Ecuadorian Naval Shipyard in 2020. The ship, Fu Yuan Yu Leng 999, lost control when it entered the dock. It was only able to stop when it made contact with the bridge. It was the same ship that Ecuadorian authorities had seized in 2017 when it was discovered that it had been fishing illegally in the Galapagos Islands. When it was seized, it contained 300 tons of fish, along with 6,000 finned sharks. Ever since it was taken, it had been in possession of the National Navy. The crane operator wouldn't have been filming the boat if they didn't think something was about to happen. The ship doesn't seem to be slowing down for the pedestrian bridge, which spans from one side of the body of water to the other. It then powers straight through it, sending bridge materials cascading into the water below. People can be heard yelling in the background before the ship comes to a grinding halt in the middle of where the pedestrian bridge used to be. Yikes. The next time I get on a ship or boat, I'm not going to be able to help but think of it colliding with another ship or sinking in some catastrophic way. Let's just hope there are a couple of doors floating in the ocean that I can share with Rose. Have you seen any large ships crashing before? Also, check out our other cool stuff showing up on screen right now. See you next time.